coach got Indian land coming in on Friday and uh, I was talking to a couple of your athletes in other sports and they have really become a big rival of Camden and it was kind of funny because a couple of the girls that I think one played golf and one played cross country she said both of them said we've never even heard of Indian land before this year and now they're our biggest competition so it's kind of neat the way uh, you know a couple schools that really didn't have any connection whatsoever with this realignment it's, it's become kind of a big thing. Yeah, it has. It has. They're a good they have a nice program good athletics you know in all sports and and so it's, it's you know, uh, and we're pretty decent in a lot of these uh, the tennises and the golfs and things, mm -hmm. cross countries and stuff. And so I, I think we're, you know, each of us kind of on those sports, uh -huh. you know, we kind of, uh, you know, look each other up, see how they're running and things like that. I think that's kind of, you know, who we realize we have to beat if we're going to be conference champions. And so in, especially in cross country and tennis and mm -hmm. golf and those sports. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you know about their football team. Uh, very well coached. Uh, they got nice size. Uh, they've had little problems. Even though I think they got the quarterback, one of the quarterbacks back, but they've, they've lost the quarterback. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so they've, at one time, Coach Mayer was telling me they, uh, on, on one night, uh, the guy was playing defensive end. The next week, he's a starting quarterback. So, you know, they've kind of had some quarterback issues mm -hmm. but uh they got some real talented people uh real good skilled people and uh, two nice corners so uh you know and, and they got you know they got a good club you know and uh so we got our hands full this is unusual because uh it, it's usually tough to play over at your stadium but uh, when I was interviewing a player a, a, a few minutes ago he said yeah he said we gotta win this one because we haven't won a home one yet it's so unusual. Yep, I don't know what all is going on, but you know, maybe we, you know, maybe we're just about to get it going here. You know, second half of this season. You know, uh -huh. we had a tough one last week, didn't play well, and and the uh, other team played extremely well, and maybe that's why we didn't play well. But uh, you know, uh, so hopefully we can uh, get back on the winning track this week. You know, but it's going to be a challenge. Coming off the, you had the 21 day break, which is the most I'd ever heard of during the course of a. Uh, of a season, what was it apparent when you actually got out there on Friday? Did I don't you feel? think you can blame it on that. Okay. I, I just think that you know we didn't handle the, the situation well. I think as coaches uh, going into uh, Chester Stadium and uh, going there and, uh, and and the way the surroundings are and the way things are there, you know, it's a little bit different, you know. And uh, I don't think we handled it very well and weren't mm -hmm. ready to play when the game started. And, and Chester was, you know, so, you know, we didn't do well, and that's part of it. Maybe it was part of the 21 days. Who knows? Uh, mm -hmm. I know, but, you know, it's just, you know, you have a chance, and you, you got 10 chances, you know, mm -hmm. to play, and you better be ready every week, and we weren't. Well, the good news is that's only one region game. Got all the rest of them right in front of you, and it starts on Friday with Indian Land. Coach, good luck against those guys, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Rich, and go dogs.